I told you the story of me holding my dad's hand. My dad's very, very tall. Over six feet. I don't know how, how I turned small, but I am small. He would walk really fast and one step for him is like three steps for seven-year-old Brosu. So at one point, I couldn't keep up and I fell. However, we were still holding hands. <laughs> So he was like, he was basically dragging me <laughs> until he noticed that I was crying. <laughs> he just kept walking. Yeah, so he wasn't very, very aware of his child. So we were walking, holding hands, and I couldn't keep keep up. And then I trip, and then I fall, and he was still walking, with his hands holding me. <laughs> and then my my knees are scraped, right? So there's blood. And then my dad's so weird, cause he's like, oh, we shall douse it with isopropyl alcohol and i hate that part because it hurts i would cry and then i would run away he didn't spit on <laughs> he used the isopropyl alcohol the one you use for your hands during covid he would use that on me it hurts right and he he does that on one knee and i felt the pain it was painful than the actual injury and so i would run away from him the bottle was like this you can squeeze it so he would squeeze it so the the alcohol would projectile and then hit my knee <laughs> he was running after me and then he was just attacking me with alcohol squeeze like that and then he hit my knee <laughs> when i grew up and then i get hurt and he's like that's douse it in alcohol i i wouldn't because i know it's bad it's not good you shouldn't do that you just need to wash the wound and then cover it up but for him, if it hurts, it's working, is what he has in mind. I'm like, no. <laughs>